Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, we're looking at mazes and how to make them and what they are and, uh, and how to make them. <laughs> so a maze, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> but let's define it anyway. A maze is a puzzle made of a, a, a complex branching passageways through which the solver, that's me at the moment, must find a route or, you know, it's just a sort of confusing series of pathways. But there's generally a goal at the end of it. There's either, and you've either got to kind of escape, or sometimes in mazes, there's a central bit, isn't there? And you can kind of go to the central bit, and there's a sort of a, a chair or something you can sit on. Okay, so the mazes are fun, okay? And um, you, you, you know, uh, they've been around for a long, long time. Uh, so maybe mazes actually have been built with walls, with rooms, with hedges, with turf, corn, hay bales, books even. Okay, there are some out there with books made from books, paving stones of colour and brick, or crops, uh, for example, like corn, or indeed maize, the you know the crop. Uh, I'm a bit lost. Uh, I'm going to fly out of here. Oh, thank goodness for that. Look at that. Look at this maze. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> It's huge, and I did not make it. <laughs> I actually got a computer program to make it for me uh, in Minecraft. And to this episode, we're going to show you how to do this. Wow, it's massive, isn't it? We're going to show you how to do this, and also just how to make a hand-built maze as well. This particular maze was made in a program called MC Edit, and MC Edit is a brilliant program. I'm going to be featuring lots of MC Edit uh, work during um, during these ideas, these 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. Uh, and this is, I suppose, the first one. Um, so you know, stay with it, um, even if you've never used MC Edit before. I'm sure you'll pick up a load of different tips and hints. I'm not going to be doing a specific tutorial about MC Edit in this episode. Uh, I'll just be covering a small section of it, uh, specifically some filters. And we're actually going to be using a filter uh, from a very talented man called Seth Bling. Some of you might know him. Uh, so Seth Bling writes uh, filters uh, for MC edit uh, and they are in Python so you can write a Python script insert that into MC edit and then MC edit will carry out the instructions within that script and build something like this this awesomeness that is this giant 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 maze okay so I'm going to pop myself back down and uh, I'm going to get out of this program and I'm going to open up MC edit Okay. So here's MC in it, and we can do several things when the, when this uh, when the first sort of screen loads up. We can create a new world. We can load a world even. And what it's going to do is going to load the worlds that are in your Minecraft folder. So I'm just going to click here, load a world, and I've got these two maze projects going on here. I'm going to go for maze three because I've been playing with this one. I'm going to load this one up, and I'm going to right click and and move, click and hold my mouse burned down you can see I've been messing around with mazes okay and I've also created a flattened area as well so MC edit is really good for this is a kind of a naturally spawned minecraft area uh, and then you can actually select areas of that and manipulate it with MC edit and I'm not going to go into the details I'm going to let you guys find out for yourself uh, to use this filter uh, we literally have to select an area like this. So I'm selecting an area and I'm going to do 30 by 30. And you can see down the bottom it's actually given me an indication of the width, the length and the height. So we've got width 30, length 30 and height 1. I'm going to click there. And then once you've clicked that and you've got an orange sort of selection here, I can actually select different sides of this cube. Well, it's not really a cube, but a cuboid shape. So I'm going to select the top and go up 3. No, four actually, because I'm now going to go down to the bottom, go underneath it, and I'm going to lift the bottom up by one and fly up. And I'm using uh, W A S D keys as well to man maneuver around the scene too. So that has selected a oops a three high thirty by thirty box. Okay. Uh, once I've made my selection I can add a filter so here's my filter here it looks like a filter coffee and I just press that once and I get the filters up here 
Now, I can just add potion effect, that's one filter, but I need to click this here and that'll give me my drop down list of filters that I'm going to be using. And most of them are sort of in there anyway. The one that I've added, um, and I'll show you how to add it in just a moment, is this one here called Maze. Uh, and that's the one by Seth Bling. So let's just click that. Uh, and it, it loads the filter up. There's nothing else to do with the filter. Sometimes you get things like you can uh, change some of the numbers about. Um, but I'm just going to press filter now. And boom, straight away. Let's have a look at it. There is the thing. I'm going to just deselect that. And you can see it's designed a little uh, maze. And this kind of maze is called a perfect maze, which means um, at the moment there is no entrance and there is no exit. And there's a little video with Seth Pling's uh, uh, filter that you can watch and you can kind of, uh, he'll explain it a little bit better than I am as well. Uh, but essentially what we can do is we can just knock out three here and three anywhere else uh, to make an entrance and exit. And there's one pathway which will lead all the way through from one end to the other. Okay. Uh, so that's how we make it. All we have to do is save it. So I'm just going to save this and then quit this, open up Minecraft and we can see our new maze that we've just made. So this is the maze we've just made here and you can see that lovely transparent hedge <laughs> and you can just knock out three and I like to put a little doorway in and then there is no way out until I create an exit. So I'm going to create an exit over here, knock three out, put a gold doorway, and you can be as elaborate as you want to make any kind of designs that you want. And there we go, we've got our very simple maze. Now let me show you that filter by Seth Bling. So to get a filter, um, both in the PC, uh, Mac and Linux version, uh, first you need to go to Seth Bling's uh, web page that looks a little bit like this. And these are all the filters that are going on here. I'm going to just go next. And there it is. Okay. So what we've got here, let's click on this one, Maze. And we can see there's a little video that he's designed for us, and we can watch through that. Uh, and also we've got this download maze here, and you can see there it says sethbling.com forward slash media, forward slash a little number, and then maze.py, and that's our Python script. Okay, so let's just download that, so you can see what I've actually done it. I'm going to open up MC Edit. Uh, I'm going to load our world. It doesn't really matter what I'm going to load. I'm going to go to... Oops. Let's zip out. Just select something. Uh, go to our filter. Now to add a filter, the easiest way to add a filter is just to press the filter button here. And that will actually open up the folder with all the filters in. Okay, these are the, all of them. These are little, there's maze pie. And all I would have to do is open up my downloads and just drop that maze pie into my filters folder. Um, and it's as, it is as simple as that. It's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, uh, you can, you know, like right click and, and unpack contents and stuff like this, but you might as well do this. Now, to get that filter to work, it won't work unless you have to restart MC Edit. So that's uh, the little caveat. Okay, you're going to have to restart MC Edit to get the filter to actually start to, uh, to, start to appear in here. Uh, apart from that, um, you're ready to go. So that's how you can make a maze uh, using MC Edit, which is pretty cool. The other way would be to make your own maze, um, and this is one way of doing it. Obviously, I actually think there are loads of different ways, and I think this kind of project is just really good fun. Uh, but if you want some starting points, this is what I'm really giving you. Okay, so make uh, an odd numbered square. I better count this actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And let's speed this up. Uh, and then once you've done that, the outline, start to create lines like this. One negative, one positive, one negative, one positive. Uh, 
and that's what you have to do. Uh, uneven. <laughs> And there we go. So what we've got now is we've got this kind of mesh looking thing. And literally all you have to do is really walk through it and in a meandering path There, there's my exit. So that's my that's my route through. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the puzzly bits. The bits that are gonna confuse people and make them wish they had never started this maze in the first place. Okay, so let's do this. And that's good. So this is where you can be a bit more creative and there. Lovely. So that's our kind of maze shape. And um, you just have to build that up and um, you know too high at least so it's difficult to see over. And then you have your maze, and I'll finish that later. Other kind of mazes that you could make uh, that I've seen are quite popular are glass ones as well. Uh, because they're quite confusing. Because obviously you can see sort of everywhere else, but let me just put some uh, we can kind of see beyond that, yeah, so the glass mazes are excellent fun too, especially if they're really, really big. So I hope that's inspired you, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this and uh, you want to see more, uh, then please do subscribe and do like, and that would be really useful and helpful to me. And uh, uh, so until next time, thank you for listening, take care, and goodbye.